Welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at using the attenuators to create stereo movement. While they may not be the flashiest draw of the matriarch, such as the stereo filter or stereo delay, Matriarch's three attenuators are some of its most powerful tools. But for something so humble, the attenuator can sometimes be a bit intimidating. With nothing patched to the input, we can use the attenuator as a knob. By patching the attenuator output to the pitch input of oscillator 1, we get nothing right now because the attenuator is at noon, sending out zero volts. When we turn the attenuator up, we increase the frequency, and when we turn it down, we get back to our original pitch. When we turn the attenuator negative, we turn the pitch of the oscillator down. Typically, we'll use attenuators to attenuate voltage signals. If we patch the modulation oscillator to the filter cutoff input, we'll get a really wide sweep. If we don't want that sweep to be so wide, we can use an attenuator. Patching the modulation oscillator instead to the input of our attenuator and patching the attenuator output to our destination. Now with the attenuator at noon, we'll get not so much motion, and as we turn it up, we'll get more drastic filter motion. And as we go negative, we'll flip the modulation oscillator over. So the attenuator is basically just a volume knob. You can patch any signal through it, either audio or control voltage, and use the attenuator to scale the amplitude of that voltage signal. Matriarch stereo filter means we can take our modulation oscillator and move both filters in the left and right signal path for stereo movement. I'll take the attenuator output and patch it to the mult here so I can route it to multiple destinations at once. I'll patch a copy of the signal to filter 1's cutoff, and I'll patch another copy of the signal to filters 2 cutoff. Now when I play a chord, I'll hear both filters open and closed by the modulation oscillator and scaled by our attenuator. As we have it set up right now, however, we're not really getting stereo filter movement. The modulation oscillator is moving both filters at the same time, moving filter 1 and filter 2 open when the modulation oscillator goes high, and closing both of them when the modulation oscillator goes low. What if we want the modulation oscillator to move both filters in opposite directions? For this, we'll use another attenuator as an inverter. We'll take the signal going to filter 2 and run it to the input of a second attenuator, turn the attenuator all the way negative, and patch the output of that attenuator to the filter 2 cutoff input. With this patch, when the modulation oscillator rises, it opens filter 1. But that same modulation oscillator signal is coming to our second attenuator here, which is fully inverting the signal. That way, it's closing filter 2 as it's opening filter 1. So now when I play a chord, I'll get stereo motion. This patch is handy because the modulation oscillator goes through our first attenuator here, which scales the voltage to the depth that we want. That result is then fully inverted by the second attenuator so that both signals coming in are the same strength, just in opposite directions. This means we have one knob to control the depth of movement in both directions. So by using Matriarch's attenuators to attenuate and invert voltages, we can achieve complex stereo effects. <laughs> 